Mark Twain once said, it's not the things in the Bible that I don't understand that really trouble me. It's all the things in the Bible that I do understand. That's what really troubles me. There are a significant number of people who, when they read it, are just troubled by what they find. And the Bible, which was meant to draw people to God, actually becomes a barrier for many people. You know, we find ourselves wondering, do we have to give up modern science in order to embrace the Bible? Because the Bible has two creation stories, and, and they don't agree with what modern science has to teach us. And in fact, they don't even agree with each other. Are the people we know who are gay and lesbian, did God ever really intend for them to be put to death? Why is there so much violence in the Bible? In the name of God, did God really command the Israelites to kill every man, woman, and child in 31 kingdoms in the land of Canaan? Or, or is it God's intention that children who are disobedient and rebellious be put to death? Or that somebody picking up sticks on the Sabbath has to be, has to be stoned to death? I mean, these are the kinds of things we read. Did, did God really want women to stay silent in the church? Were they, were they always to be subordinate to men? Uh, or, or was it permissible? Really, did God, did God give permission for people to beat their slaves with rods as long as they didn't die within the first two days of the beating? We come across these passages, and they're few and far between, but when we come across them, we ask, really, did God say that? Is that, is that what God is like? That just doesn't sound like the God revealed in Jesus Christ. In the end, Jesus becomes the lens through which we read everything else. It's not a lack of faith that leads us to wrestle with the Bible. It's because we have faith that when we find something that seems inconsistent with the character of God, that we wrestle with that. I hope when people are done reading this book that they have an appreciation for the historical context, the culture of Scripture, how the Bible was put together, um, who wrote it, why they wrote it, and, and then uh, how to make sense of its troubling passages so that they can read the Bible and they can hear God speaking through it.